What's up people, this is your third assembly language tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about how to download and install TASM uh, which basically is uh, Borland's Turbo Assembler which you would be needing for all of uh, your assembly language programs that you write henceforth. So to do this, uh, first of all you need to uh, click on the link given in the description box of this video uh, which is a direct link to download TASM. So once you click on that link, uh, something like this should appear on your screen. Yep, here it is. So the file name I believe should be TASM5.zip, uh, it's showing me a 1 I think it's because I've already downloaded it. Uh, but yeah, the file name for you all should be TASM5.zip to save this file, uh, this uh, zip archive to wherever you want. And once that is done, uh, the next step is to go to the location where you have downloaded uh, your zip archive, which I think is right here yeah so as you all can see i have my tasm 5.zip uh, in my personal disk so uh, what i need to do uh, once this is done is to right click on the zip and click on extract files and in the destination path i would write c tasm not tasm 5 yeah i write c tasm 5 yeah so why I would write ctasm5 is because I would be installing my uh, tasm in my C drive. Uh, this is not a compulsion, you all can install tasm wherever you want. But I always prefer uh, saving such things like the Turbo C uh, compiler or the Java compiler or the assembler that we have here. I prefer keeping all of this stuff in my C drive. So I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be extracting this in my C drive in a folder called TASM5, but you all get extracted wherever you want. So once this is done, once the files are extracted in your C drive, you should see a folder called TASM5. Yes. So uh, this is not how this folder would look when you have downloaded it. I believe this is already done or something. Yeah. Actually, your folder would be something like um, something like this yes so when once you open your tasm5 folder in your c drive it should look something like this you should have disk1 disk2 disk3 docs uh, and patches and what you need to do is uh, to cut disk2 and disk3 from here and paste it inside disk1 oh yes all right <coughs> all right, all right. So once that is done, once you have your disk 2 and disk 3 copied to your disk 1, uh, you need to run the install.exe file that you see over here. Now it's very important that you run this file as an administrator to your uh, of your PC. So if you're not the administrator, if someone else is your administrator, I would highly recommend you to log in uh, into your PC using the admin account and then install, then click on install.exe because uh, otherwise, there are chances uh, TASM might not be able to install correctly. So, uh, I am the admin of this PC, so I'll go ahead and click on install.exe. Yes, uh, as you all can see, I'm using Windows 7 32-bit, so it just looks a little weird because Windows 7 has no support for DOS applications. I think I'll reduce the size of this thing. Hold on. Yep, so as you all can see, this is my Borland Turbo Assembler 5.0 installation. Um, and this should be pretty easy to figure out if you if you uh, have ever installed anything in your life, I mean literally anything in your life, uh, you should be able to go through this. Uh, the first step, enter to continue, click on enter. And the source drive to use, I would be using my C drive. So you all can use uh, whichever drive you want. So just enter the source drive to use. Uh, press enter again and enter the source path so uh, enter the path to the directory containing the turbo assembler files uh, the path as we just uh, changed was uh, actually we had disk 1 disk 2 disk 3 but if you all remember we just copied disk 2 and disk 3 to disk 1 so our path for all our turbo assembler files is now disk 1 so just click on enter okay 
now this uh, just shows you the installation details whatever you have the directory in which you would have your TASM would be C TASM now the folder that we extracted was TASM 5 and the directory in which this would be installed is TASM so remember that once this is done just uh, uh, hit enter and I believe you should have TASM running on your on your PC uh, I already have it so I'm not going to do it again but what I'm going to do now is going to show you where exactly do I have this thing so as you all can see in my C drive I have TASM 5 and when I'm done uh, with the installation wizard I get a new folder called TASM so you all must remember that uh, the actual turbo assembler that you have is in TASM and not TASM 5 TASM 5 just has installation files uh, you might as well even delete them if, uh, after you've you've done um, installing TASM. So once you're done, open up the TASM folder. You see a bunch of files over here. I have a lot of other files as well because I've written some real code here. But uh, you all might not have uh, any ASM files when you open up TASM. Now, uh, uh, there's one last thing I want to tell you all before you all uh, write any assembly language code and run it using TASM. Uh, to run um, your ASM codes, what you really need is an assembler, a linker, and uh, a sort of an environment to run it. So we basically need three uh, sorts of files. And what those three sorts of files really are, uh, are TASM, T-Link, and RTM. Yes, TASM, T-Link and RTM and these three files are located in your bin folder so I'm gonna need these three files as you all can see this is uh, tasm.exe you will also have something called tlink should be here tlink.exe and you should also have something called rtm rtm.exe so I need these three files in order to execute my uh, ASM codes so what I can really do is uh, I can copy these three files uh, to my TASM folder. Why I would do that is because when I'm in command prompt and I, when I try to, uh, uh, you know, compile or, or uh, how should I say this, uh, convert my ASM file into machine code, uh, I would basically be using the command uh, TASM file name dot ASM so that would give me an error saying that tasm is not found in in this folder but that's because it's in bin so what you can do is uh, either write all of your codes inside the bin folder or if you all want to write your codes in your tasm folder like i have done over here then you need to copy those three files tasm tlink and rtm to your tasm folder i hope i made myself clear about this you can either write your codes in the bin folder and execute them from there or you need to copy those three files from your bin folder to wherever you want if you if you all want to run your uh, your asm files from there okay uh, that's all for this one i believe uh, tasm should be up and running on uh, your pcs after this tutorial uh, in the next tutorial, I'll be discussing uh, our next program which uh, uses TASM in order to uh, execute our ASM, I believe. Um, yep, that's it for this one. I'll see you all again soon. Uh, have fun. Bye-bye.